Everything connection. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hello. 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 Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Yep. Just poking my head in. Um, so I'm not gonna do much talking because my voice isn't 100 percent here today. But uh, we were gonna talk about our 2020 wedding cake trends that we're really excited about, and then um the book that you see when you go for cake tastings or talk to your venue um, and things like that. And we have, yeah, I said the trends already, right? So mm -hmm. we have a, just a couple of things to share that are just more fun live. So here we are. <laughs> so you ladies can take it away. <laughs> um, okay, so we're, we'll start with the book. So every year we yeah. make a new wedding cake book. This is last year's, we're still working on this year's. Um, but when you come in for a tasting here or you go to your venue and have a tasting, you get to look through this book. The um, first section is level one uh, wedding cakes. These would be included in your packages at your venues. Um, or, you know, if you're really budget conscious, these are the less um, costly Yeah, designs. more affordable options. And we do have um, a lot in here. And what's really popular is, um, like, somebody will take a plain cake from us, and then the florist will add fresh flowers. That's always very nice. We have a couple little post-its of the ones we're taking out here. So and we're, we're going to add a new. few more. Yeah. Um, so this is a lot of those are on Instagram over the past couple days. We've been posting the new ones that will be yeah. in the 2020 book. And I think like, even though they're level one or more budget friendly, we really have still beautiful designs that are very elegant and won't like, and it includes a lot. Yeah. It really yeah. Does. Like this one, super popular. Hope you guys can see that it's uh, got like a wildflower kind of look. Mm hmm. Birch is still really in. Yep. But there are new trends this year. Uh, the color of the year for Panatone is classic blue. Literally, like, really basic blue. But mm -hmm. it'll be pretty. Blue for weddings is always great. You always need something blue. Yeah, so we'll make a design with the blue, and we're working on a few other ones um, <clears throat> that are new for this year. Yeah. So this is the level two section of the book. This is where you're going to see more of, like, the sugar flowers, intricate designs. Bonnet covered cakes. Bonnet. You've also, um, if you choose a level two book, it does give you more flavor options too, which is listed in the front of our book. Yep. Different soaks, different fillings, things aren't that wouldn't necessarily be included in level one. A lot of gold. Gold is still really, is really trending. In. We have yeah. more gold designs to show you that we did last year too. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Let's look. Let's find your cake, Kate. Which one? The one that is super popular. Oh, the winter one. So last year I created um, a oh, winter yeah. themed cake. Uh, it was my favorite because I designed it myself. And it's got like oh. cable now on it. We do mm -hmm. have it. You oh, have we it. have it. We just have to add a few more pine, pine needles. But uh, this year quite a few people did order it with uh, white roses and it has a cable knit pattern. And on the bottom we do a hand, it's almost hand painted mountain scene. Yeah, so, kind of like oil paint with this. Yeah, it's like almost 3D. That's my favorite part of it. I'm going to tell this probably. It's this part on the bottom. It's all done. This is royal icing, so we can keep it because it's a fake cake. But that's all done with just a spatula and by hand piping. And then I got to add new pine needles because they weirdly wilted. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're Over fake. Time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, and this, this is a fake cake, so it's supposed to be meant to last. And then pine cones that are made out of chocolate, sugar flowers. And this year, this was pretty popular over the last few months, which has been yeah. great. Someone even ordered it with spring-colored flowers for, like, a spring wedding, which was awesome. Uh, what else is in this year? Oh, um, geometrics. Geometrics are yes. in. Last year, we did one geometric cake, but it was just a hint of geometric. Um, I don't know about you, but I've gotten inquiries about, like, hexagon. Yeah, tiers a and lot stuff. of hexagon. So this was Danielle's wedding cake. Oh, yeah. This had some hexagon tears in I it. I was way before the trend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, oh, and the new one that we're seeing a lot of now is, like, kind of astrology, crystal-themed. Oh, oh, there, there was a crystal. Yeah, so oh. I started started this cake out. It was kind of still in progress. inspired by the metaphysical woo-woo kind of things like you can see like down here it's got that pattern and then again yeah, over here this is kind of like a moon yeah uh, was oh, my that's inspiration so cool. and then these are isomalt crystals so they're made out of sugar let me stay in the camera not behind the cake <laughs> <laughs> and um oh, hold it closer yeah you That'd just you melt the sugar put it in the mold pull it out and, and they're really Instagram? cool because they, they look uh 
They, they look, look like they should. They, they look, look like amethyst. They know? look like amethyst. Really cool and something new for me. Mm -hmm. I know Kate has a isomol experience, but not me so much. But it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun to work with, and especially with isomol instead of just like regular poured sugar. Isomol will harden completely crystal clear. So if you want a water aspect on your cake or something like that, that's the way to go. But it'll work perfect for the crystals. It's going to be beautiful. We did that one geode style cake last oh, year. Oh, yeah, that's in there. And it was like open in the middle. So I'm like not right okay. But <laughs> just hang. Oh, this one? Yeah, this yeah. One. Same, more gold. Still very popular. Geode's awesome. Um, mm -hmm. We do it with rock candy, which is really neat. Uh, and that's fun to do. That's still kind of in. Mm -hmm. And fresh flowers, they're still a thing. We love putting them on, so if you guys supply them, we can put them on ourselves. We safety seal the ends, so it's safe to put in your cake and serve to your guests. Um, and it's fun to arrange them on cakes. Yeah. Hold on, fresh <laughs> I want different, like, buttercream flowers that look. Yeah, good. that's been getting really popular, too, especially the larger ones. Um, and sometimes, a lot of times, it is included in the level one cakes. If there's, like, a ton of them, that might move your cake to level two, but... Yeah, it just depends on how long it takes us to make something like that. Mm, but long. yeah, this this is this is in the level one package, and this is a lot of flowers, but it's top it, to bottom buttercream. They're roses. larger, so it's beautiful and a really good option. And it's eye catching. We did yeah. one; it'll be in the new book. It's all colored background with all white roses, and it's great. It looks so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and we also had a couple gray cakes. Yeah. Like black and gray is still really in. Mm -hmm. That's why we started with that black one. We got another black one coming your way. Some yeah. more kits. Really unique. Really unique designs. And a new thing that I keep getting inquiries about is donut walls. Yeah. Everybody loves them. We had a bride last year. Her and her father-in-law created the wall, and we created the donuts, and it came out stunning. That was just posted this morning. So Yeah. Yes. I've had a bunch of inquiries, and it's neat to have different desserts instead of just a wedding cake. You can do donuts. We do petty fours, mini brownies, everything. Yeah, pies. Oh, pies. pies. Yeah, pies for a whole wedding thing. We can do those. Yeah, and the donut wall is really cool because we do make the donuts. We make donuts on Saturdays, and Always. they're fried. They're not baked. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer the fried ones. Absolutely, sure. yeast. <laughs> yeast. Yeasted fried donuts is the way to go. Yeah, they're lighter, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, not so dense, not cakey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't taste like cake. It's like a real cool. donut. Yeah, and Alyssa's really talented. She makes our donuts. Mm -hmm. She has all these great ideas. So look out for holiday donuts, especially Valentine's Day. I think yeah. she's going to be doing jelly food. Yeah, I think so. Some, hearts. Some hearts. She's got a lot of tricks up her sleeve. So look out for the donuts. And, and new flavors, too, coming out mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else we have to cover. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, yeah. Questions. Any questions? One saying hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's my sister. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, and if you do like go with a different set of desserts, you can also do a smaller tiered cake. Like a lot of my favorite is a six eight. So it's like a teeny tiny. So you can still do your ceremony and then serve extra desserts if you want something more unique or more variety. Things like that. Yeah. Like anything that's small in here. Also, yeah, I don't know if you've seen, like, pictures where the bride holds the cake out. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you want that shot, you should order a small cake because it's so cute and it would be really, like, mm -hmm. really awesome in that size. And then you could just get slicer cakes that nobody sees. But everyone gets the same cake. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. great. That's a really popular option, too. Yeah, especially lately. And that's another budget-conscious decision that you can also do because you can still do your ceremony it still looks beautiful on display but then you're you are saving some money because you're gonna get slicer cakes that'll sit in the kitchen for service later mm -hmm. and you still get to take your topper home mm -hmm. yeah and um like what are people doing more with macaroons and things too there's or? some um i mean more macaroons are seeming to be more favor options because we can package them like two in a box time with a bow it looks really great that's probably the most popular and not so much as a wedding dessert just more as a favorite choice, mm -hmm. but people love them. Yeah. Actually, macaroons have been popular for showers, too. Yeah, baby like showers, tree, bridal showers. Yeah. Trees, they're macaroon trees. Those oh, are great yeah. to display also, especially on a dessert table, too. That's another thing. Adds height, a little bit dimension, another choice. Yeah, macaroons are great. We can make them almost any flavor. <laughs> I know. It just keeps growing. <laughs> just Everything part. just keeps changing. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like people do a lot of wedding, like, they do cheered oh, cakes on just for the weddings. We have a question. Oh, oh, well, oh <laughs> Alyssa. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. <laughs> What's oh, your favorite donut? <laughs> that cookies and cream is really good. Oh, uh, 
s'mores. I have to go with s'mores. Oh, s'mores. I love s'mores oh, anything. I saw that, and then I didn't but grab then, one. There was a maple bacon one. That was really I good. I choose one. I know. I'm okay. excited because I think in the spring we're going to do a blueberry donut. Ooh. A blueberry glaze, maybe a lemon blueberry, and then possibly chocolate mint for St. Patrick's Day weekends. Mm -hmm. So oh, that'll be awesome. Fun. Like a chocolate donut with like a mint glaze, maybe some Andy's candies. Yes. Be real good. Sounds really good. Yes, it sounds very right. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, is there anything that you've seen like that's becoming less popular, but like, I don't know if you still like it or you are happy to see it go, anything about it? I want to say naked cakes, but they're not. They not will any die. Less popular, but, um, you know, they're pretty. We just don't have much to do. With yeah, the cake. We're, we're the decorators. They're very not pretty. Lots to decorate on those, so there's nothing on it. Yeah. Um, really intricate piping is in as lace patterns kind of go, mm -hmm. but like the old school like drapering is kind of right. going That's out. Going out. Um, um, but the we're classic, just still in. The, yeah, the classic look is still in. Like we got a lot of orders for this cake last year. It's all just white and white buttercream yeah, totally flowers piping. Classic and mm -hmm. really nice, but. Maybe less dramatic. Yeah, I mean, people are going know. more rustic. Yeah, more classic. And gold, just gold, so much gold. Very rare. Which we love. Gold. We love gold. We'll put gold in anything. Yes, always. Oh, and the watercolor brush stroke. Oh, that's thing. new. And yeah. That's yeah. in. That yeah. is very in. I don't think we have. We don't example. have not yet. Uh, but no, it'll be in a new book. It was on Instagram yesterday. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, basically, or we buy spatulas that are kind of like oil, like. If you're oil painting, do we have one so over there? No, I don't think so. So we just take the buttercream and we pretend we're oil painting, but it's buttercream. So it's, <laughs> I've never <laughs> oil painted, so I can't compare them, but <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> so I kind of like smear it. I mean, that's yeah. kind of how I do my mountains too. Like I put it on and then I spread it out a specific pattern to create the design. And like we can even do like a smooth watercolor. If you just want like a hint of color, we can just add a little bit of buttercream and then re smooth it and it gives it a really neat design. Oh, so is that's buttercream on there or is that what like, would you do this with? If um, it was real? Probably. Well, to get the moon effect, we probably would have to do fondant. Right. We want to carry that over here. Yeah, bring back. Um, but like to get an effect like this, we could totally do this in buttercream. Like it's, um, yeah, we had a couple of cakes actually this year that. Uh, That'll either be on Instagram soon or um, in the new book where they did like an ombre effect with this style of watercolor design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we have one that like kind of looked like concrete, like yeah, that, that buttercream. Cool. That was really cool. So with buttercream flowers. There's a lot of cool effects we can achieve with that watercolor technique and it's only getting more popular. Yeah, that is a new one. That's and I think I thought it always had to be done on fondant, but you can kind of do the look in just buttercream. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. actually easier, honestly, uh, in buttercream. Uh, cause it kind of all melts together where this would have to be painted if it was fondant. We can do both cause this looks great, obviously, mm -hmm. as fondant, but buttercream, it's really simple. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Oh, Literally. Right. Actually, it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, right now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, for now. For yeah. now, until something cooler comes out. Yeah. No other questions? Other? Alyssa said hello over here, too. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I think last time we talked about a little bit, we could just remind people about how you can just do like small upgrades to if you want to your level one, right? Like if it was a level one cake and you added, am I am I right? Mm -hmm. You can add little things just to. Yeah, like um, this year we have a buttercream sunflower cake and it's a level one cake, but someone wanted to add their dogs to the cake. So I mean, I don't have fun. It. So it's just like a small charge that upgrades your cake to like a technically a level two, but it's just you can add anything, mix and match from the books different techniques and designs just to upgrade your level one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can definitely do that. Yeah. And it definitely makes it really personal having your dogs on the cake. That happened a lot last yeah, year. Yeah. We I had did a couple like, of them. Yeah. Like little puppies picking out from the bottom. Totally edible. Cute. All yeah. fondant. A <laughs> little dog, dog eating the cake. We did that once. That, <laughs> that was, was really, really cute. cute. Yeah. Um, I think that's Anybody has any odd. questions. Yeah. Well, if you're not tuning in live, but you still have questions, comment on uh, Facebook or Instagram. We'll get back to you. Yeah, that's very true. I feel mm -hmm. like we're forgetting something. But yeah, I feel basically, like they can come in with anything they want to do, right? Oh, definitely. We love yeah. custom work. You can even bring in um, inspiration from your wedding. If it's your color palette, your flowers, your bridesmaid's dresses, mm -hmm. the lace on your wedding cake or on your wedding dress. We yeah. can transfer all of these ideas to your wedding cake. We have a program to make custom, like, 
computer images so we can create your own personal custom unique wedding cake for you we did that a few times last yeah. year too and that's our favorite thing to do um just because we get to show our creativity too and mm -hmm. we get to work with you in the elements that you really want to shine we can shine you don't have to pick something off of pinterest and make us yeah we don't have to copy that. anything yeah. <laughs> it can be just you and your cake and how you want it and that's all that's included when you buy a wedding cake from us for yeah sure. we'll talk to you we can go back and forth like i worked with brides for months picking out their wedding cake to design it exactly how they want it which is so much fun i love it yeah yeah i think that's okay. it all right yeah so 2020 brides mm -hmm. very, it's gonna be a fun year it will be. <laughs> we're excited yeah, yeah. very excited it's cool gonna be awesome coming out okay so i think that's it all right bye, bye guys thank bye. you <laughs> yes